Now, today marked the 26th straight day that the people were locked out of the People's House because of sequestration, or so we're told. Now, White House tours remain closed to average Americans, you know, the people that pay the bills. And it appears that the doors of the White House, they did remain wide open to the rich and famous friends of the Obamas. And yet another clear sign that the president and Mrs. Obama are out of touch with reality and totally tone deaf. The first couple has announced that they plan to host a star-studded concert later this month. Now, Memphis Soul will feature entertainers like Al Green and Queen Latifah, Cindy Lauper, and Justin Timberlake. Now, clearly it goes without saying that this is a waste of your money and a slap in the face to you, the taxpayers, especially in light of the president and his administration's fear-mongering just in recent weeks. Remember this. Federal prosecutors will have to close cases and let criminals go. Air traffic controllers and airport security will see cutbacks, which means more delays at airports across the country. Thousands of teachers and educators will be laid off. Tens of thousands of parents will have to scramble to find child care for their kids. So these cuts are not smart. They are not fair. They will hurt our economy. They will add hundreds of thousands of Americans to the unemployment rolls. This is not an abstraction. People will lose their jobs. Let me tell you, if sequester happens, it is going to badly damage the readiness of the United States of America. It's going to be very painful for the flying public. We are going to weaken the United States. I'm not here to scare people. Sequestration is a dangerous and irrational policy. This is just completely uh, 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 irresponsible. These are job-killing cuts. Sequestration equals unemployment. As many as 40,000 teachers could lose their job. We expect that they will change their schedules and cancel flights. This is going to hurt a lot of moms and dads in our region. Everyone thinks this is a, that bad things are going to happen. Here with Reaction Syndicated columnist, Fox News contributor Michelle Malkin. Let's see, between the Bidens and Obamas, eight vacations since the beginning of the year. Eight! And now, the, now another party, and then we have a party coming for Michelle's big birthday, a Beyonce and Adele. They're going to be singing at the White House. This place is a rocking place. I mean, except for we the people that pay the bills, we don't get to go. That's true. Well, I hope America is paying close attention to the party animals in chief uh, and the vice party animal in chief uh, and their spouses. I mean, uh, on the one hand, uh, one side of their mouth is singing, it's the end of the world as we know it, to uh, the rest of the world about se sequestration. Meanwhile, at 1600 Pennsylvania, it's party rocking in the White House tonight. Woohoo! We've got Justin Timberlake and Alabama Shakes coming. Uh, and I I have to think that this is not just a slap in the face to taxpayers, but particularly a slap in the face to all of the government workers out there who are very concerned about their jobs. And I have friends in the military. I've got friends uh, at DHS, at CIA, at the Border Patrol um, who are worried about putting food on the table while this guy's uh, got the full feast going on, seems like every week. Well, what happened to the fair share stuff and skin in the game stuff and it's our patriotic duty stuff and we got to spread the wealth around stuff. How is, all of this costs money. Now you could say, OK, well, the, they're performing for free. But those dinners that they're hosting, every it's security, just that alone is going to cost enough. It, they, they, why are they so tone deaf? I mean, is it that they have a let the American people eat cake? Do they just feel entitled to this? I mean, did the Obamas, did they live like this before they uh, became the president and first lady? I no indication. They had to have a Resco deal to get their house for crying out loud. Yeah, well, they've always been able to have it both ways and uh, to talk out of both sides of their mouths and to live one way while they preach um, thrift and uh, fiscal responsibility to everyone else. And I'd have to think that finally, at some point, uh, especially among independent-minded uh, people who were duped the first time around, that they realized that they were being sold a bill of goods. And there really has to be a limit, an upper limit to how much they they can take in terms of the hypocrisy and sanctimony oh. of both the president and and the first lady. I, don't know. I mean, they seem to get away with it, except for a few exceptions. Few of us conservatives are actually watching the rhetoric yeah. versus the reality.